Hello, my name is Chrissy Hodges. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank Chrissy Hodges is a mental health advocate, specifically within the obsessive compulsive disorder community. She lives with OCD and posts videos on platforms like YouTube about a disorder that's often very misunderstood. When you talk about hard things, they feel empowered. Someone else is talking about it, so so can I. You're here listening to me because you want to know that you're not alone. As someone who's seen the power of community that social media can create, there's also a downside. Chrissy says, especially after branching her advocacy onto Instagram, she started to notice that social media had gone from a place to help others heal to an addiction. I was losing my connection to my world and social media became my whole world. And it was not fulfilling. And I was feeling empty and restless every day. I still believe in the good. Ava Bilkey is a social media coach and takes what she calls a heart-centered approach to our relationship with the apps. Your social media is in balance when you can open up the app, spend some time on it, and walk away either feeling inspired motivated, educated, or connected. To help you do that, here's a few of the things Ava recommends. First, audit who you follow. Follow accounts that make you feel good and let the rest go. Secondly, set time caps on your phone that tell you when you've reached your limit for the day. And lastly, schedule your time on social media just like you would anything else. Maybe post in the morning and then respond to comments later. Chrissy made a deal with herself. She has to engage with social media before 9 a.m. every day and then doesn't go back on until after 6 p.m. How has that been going? Uh, it's life changing. I feel more connected. I feel more calm. I feel I definitely feel more connected to my husband and my home life. As that connection to herself grows, the message to her online community remains strong. I want them to feel heard and to feel seen. And if they're across the world, they can be like that chick in Palmer Lake, Colorado. I feel like is my best friend and she's right here with me tonight. That's what I want. That chick. Oh, that's good. Ryan Platt reporting there. Uh, Chrissy says when she initially started her new social media schedule, she was feeling actual withdrawal symptoms like shaking, feeling sad, but those eventually got better.